what have we got here? Well, it's a Raspberry Pi Zero flashing a multicolored LED. Nothing particularly special, you'd think. And then you realize there's no SD card. So this is running as a GPIO expander on a standard laptop. But in this case, it's a Windows 10 laptop that is running Raspbian x86 as a virtual machine. So you can have your GPIO expander running through uh, USB ports on a real machine and then using USB trickery on VirtualBox you can then access the GPIO pins from the Raspberry Pi virtual machine. Um, you can even do things like pin out and it will tell you what it thinks it's got connected which is fabulous and then if we have a look round at uh, VirtualBox we can see the machine running there if we look at the USB settings you can see it's all set out there for you now achieving this um, does require uh, a little bit of trickery and patience and thankfully I've documented uh, all of that so you can go along to aoakley.com and it's linked directly from the front page and it gives you the full details on how to set the whole thing up. So there you go. You can have uh, a Raspberry experience, a Raspberry Pi experience with some GPIOs running from that. There are some caveats. Okay, so uh, GPIO zero library is supported in Python. Uh, Scratch two library is supported. Um, basic add-ons like Charlie Plexed Christmas trees are supported. Um, a basic um, H-Bridge motor controller would probably be supported, but really complex add-ons like um, Hat, Sense Hat, or um, Pi Maroni's um, Scroll Fat, those things that use um, I2C or use SPI, sorry, not supported yet. Anyway, um, it's, it's rather nice. It works extremely well for when you wanted to do what you wanted to do for things like breadboarding or um, sort of prepare. If I run a Raspberry Jam, I run uh, cotswoldjam.org um, for um, preparing breadboarding tutorials. Absolutely lovely. Very, very simple. Very, very effective. And you can show what you can do uh, in a few lines of code. So, there you go. Lovely, isn't it? And it all kind of sort of works. You set it up once and there you go. Right, I hope to see you all at um, the Raspberry Fields event uh, this Saturday uh, in June 2018. And um, yeah, look me up. I'll be on the Cotswold Jam desk and uh, hope to see you there.